necklace. I'm actually going to do a, basically it's a bit of a haul, plus a first impression of some newer products. Some of these you would have seen in my last haul. Uh, although one of it you may not have because I don't think I'll put it up yet. But it'll probably be up before this. Anyway, um, so I went to uh, Dezo in the city the other day and I bought a few things because I wanted to try out their items and see what they were like. Um, and I also picked up some things in um, Target that were on sale. Um, they were having a 40% off and so stuff that was already reduced was an extra 40% off. Um, what I'm going to start with is uh, this AOA primer. It's supposed to be a Paula's primer. Um, this is in my shop, Miss A Hall, which as I'm filming this, I don't think it's actually up yet. Um, but we'll try it out and see what it's like. It's uh, very clear. No, you probably can't even see that. Clear blobby. I'm basically going to concentrate that on my really pory sections of skin, which are mainly just through the T-zone. Which doesn't really seem to have changed anything. Which I'm not totally surprised. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. So that's that one. It feels nice enough on the skin. It actually doesn't feel really um, silicony, which I'm actually surprised by. Because a lot of ones like that feel really silicony, but that one doesn't. Um, so at Dezo, I got this BB cream. And I figured because it's like a, uh, a Japanese um, place that the skin, like the BB, should be the right kind of colour. Except it only came in two colours there, which were um, this one, which is in beige, according to this, and one that was in ochre. So this may be too dark. I have no idea. I haven't actually, I haven't even taken it out of the packet yet. It's nicely safety sealed. Oh, that'll be alright. Might actually almost be too light. <laughs> so I've just put a bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to apply it the same way I always apply my BB creams, which is with a dampened beauty sponge. This is actually, um, this particular one is the AOA one. Again, that will be in my Shop Miss A haul when it goes up. Um, it is basically a dupe for the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It is very much the same. I have another one which looks really similar, but it's not as soft as this one is, not as squishy. I prefer a BB cream because it was much lighter on my skin um, and I've yet to find a foundation that doesn't look terrible. <laughs> I mean you don't really get any coverage or much coverage at all from a BB cream but if you're expecting coverage then you know you're using the wrong product basically. It's just meant to even out your skin tone. I'm actually going to apply a little bit more through. There's a couple of spots that could do with a bit more. Trying to get it in the divots of my nose. <laughs> Excuse the dog barking outside. She doesn't know when to be quiet. 
<laughs> she doesn't like the dogs around the back. She doesn't like birds. Doesn't like trucks, cars, people, anything. Everything is out to get her. It's basically fine, it's pretty much what I expect from BB cream. I'm not expecting great things from it, it's a BB cream. Um, for my concealer, I'm actually going to try, because I've never tried it before, that's why I said first impressions. Uh, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Uh, this is in light pale. Sponge. Mm, not too bad. It looks a little crepey under my eyes, but it pretty much always looks crepey under my eyes. I wonder how well it builds up. Sorry for that concealer face. Concealer face is similar to uh, mascara face. Where you pull faces and people think you look weird. It blends out really nice, I have to say. Awesome. Okay, to set underneath the eyes, before I go any further, I am going to use this Australis um, Ready Set Go Finishing Powder, um, which was in my Priceline haul. Um, I've already started using the other one that was in my Priceline haul, um, but I wanted to try this one as well, if I can find... I kind of wish they would put like the plasticky thing that they put on there to cover the holes. I wish they would use um, something other than clear, like like with stamping pads. They used to be clear and now they're like blue, so you can actually see them. Especially as the powder's like white, white. Excuse me down. Beauty blender. And then I'm going to use a big my real techniques just to dust it over the rest of the face because I don't have any uh, cream face products to use because if I did I wouldn't be doing this yet. Um, I also don't have any bronzer or contour 
Although I have a face powder that would probably work as a contour. Okay, so this is the um, Malibu Glitz. Uh, it's supposed to be a face powder. This is supposed to be in light or something, as you can see. It's, it's a bit dark for me. So. Yep, pretty much gone to a car. <laughs> so there you go, girls. If you're pale and you end up with a powder, as long as it's not too orangey, that's just a bit too dark for your skin tone, you can use it as a fairly subtle highlight, um, contour, and you know, warm up the face a little bit. Which is basically what I'm doing with this powder. It's not the, you know, it's not the best choice, but it works. And there's no way if this works almost as contour for me, like a very light contour, but there's no way this is a face setting powder on me. <laughs> it's just not. It's, this is way too dark. And this is like the second lightest colour you can get of this. So, yeah. So, um, it'll be in my Shop Miss A-Hole. But yeah, if you're looking for a um, really light contour, <laughs> this would probably work. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Uh, for blush, I am going to use the one of the other ones that came from Shop Miss A, which is also Malibu Glitz. It is the blusher in uh, mauve. Which has a super pretty picture on it. It's okay. It's not not my fave. But it's okay. So that's those two. And for um, highlighter, I am going to use from the Priceline haul from the um, gift bag there's the Astralis High Life Illuminating Strobe Powder in Glimmer which doesn't even show up Definitely got it on my brush. And I'm using a brush which should be. Oh, that's a bit better on that side. <laughs> Clearly need to be a lot more heavy handed than it would be. I was trying to be like delicate. Making my nose shine. It's not bad. It's pretty. I'll give it that. It is pretty. It won't look quite so glowy when I'm finished. Clear. And then I'm just going to take what is left on the real techniques. Then. Alright, for my eyebrows, so in Dezo, I found a few uh, interesting items. So the first one is this eyebrow pencil, 
I have no idea what the brand is. It's just made for Daiso Japan. So if you're in Australia, most of the stuff at Daiso is um, $2.80. Some of it's $2, some of it's $3.80. Um, so this is quite a hard pencil. But it doesn't look like the colour will be too bad. Um, it says it's in natural brown and it has a spoolie on the other end. We will see how it goes. I haven't actually used a pencil eyebrow product for a little while. Basically since I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I've pretty much been using powder since then. Also partly because I have a powder in my project pan. Or one of them. I have terrible eyebrows, so... Not the worst eyebrow product I've used, I just don't really like the shape of the end of it. Kind of, it's kind of wide but thin. It's kind of a little weird. But it filled me in. <laughs> it's definitely more brown there than it was before. So it, it seems fine. Um, it's not a bad colour either, even though it says natural brown. It's maybe a touch too dark, but it kind of reminds me of taupe. Um, the other one that I got is this eyebrow gel um, it's just the clear one they did have a coloured one but oops um, I didn't get that I just got this one it's just an ordinary spoolie we'll see how it dries see if it dries crusty <laughs> Because that's always the worst thing, when they dry crusty. Um, okay, so, I've got this other thing. I don't actually have an eye primer um, in my untrieds that I can think of. Just, boop. However, what I do have is a couple of eye cream type products. <coughs> this one does not want to open. Um, so from Daiso I got this one which the packaging is really pretty. It's got like a gem on the top of it and basically it's uh, purple. It's very light. It's a very light purple. So I might actually use just, bear with me, I'm just going to use it underneath my eyes because I have some other things to use on my eyelids. I wasn't sure whether this was like the uh, Torino Tarantino eye things that are like a powder and they kind of like you can see them in the end. It's a very uh, pinky purple. You probably can't even see it from there. <laughs> okay, so from K uh, Target, they, as I said, there's all this stuff that was on sale, and one of 
the things that I had was from NYX. This is the NYX Eye Gel. You can use it as a liner or you can use it as a shadow. Looks like this. Um, this is in Cobalt Blue. They really don't want me to get into anything today. <laughs> Oops. Just jabbed my knife into it. <laughs> that was clever. Um, so I am going to use... I'm actually going to use a small pencil brush. This is one of the ones from Shop Misse, which will be in the haul. It's kind of like a pencil brush, but um, it'll, it'll suffice for these purposes. Wow, that's very pretty. Wonderful. I'm just going to put it on the lid and then I'll blend it out a bit. Oops. Wow, I'm making this sweat again. I'm going to use this. Um, which one am I going to use? I'm going to use this angled blending brush which was in the um, Priceline gift bag. Just to buff the edges out just a little. That is super duper intense. Be careful with that one. Um, but it's a really gorgeous colour. Um, and then I also got from NYX one of their primal colours. Um, I saw that Jess um, in uh, 872 I'll, I'll, I'll annotate it on the screen. Um, she hit pan in the primal red. I have the primal hot blue, which was reduced and then 40% off, so I don't pay very much for it, except I can't get it open. So that is primal hot blue. I'm going to take a small shader brush. This is also from AOA Studio. Okay, so I'm going to take the hot blue. And um, pack that on top. Oh wow, Fallout City. She would have been a bit more careful. <laughs> um, that is super duper pigmented. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. I'm going to have blue streaks on me. Um, I'm just going to take a blender brush. And the other thing I got from Target is one of these little Revlon... Um, they're like the individual shadows that like click together. I never bought them, mainly because um, Emily Noel wasn't like, she said that they really weren't worth, I think it was Emily Noel, might have been Tardy. So they weren't really worth um, spending the money on when you could get shadows in other formations. I'm just going to take a smaller pencil brush. Um, this is Periwinkle, just to blend the colour out just a little. 
on the edges. So basically this is just a bright blue smoky eye. And I'm just taking that up a bit higher and take up the blending brush. And just blend it out a bit so it's not quite so harsh. Not the neatest eye drop, but uh, those primal colours, super duper pigmented. The gel from NYX, um, if you wanted to do a blue eyeliner, that would be like, it would work really, really well for that. Um, it works fine as an eyeshadow base as well. My eyes are a little tiny bit patchy, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, then I have two choices of liquid eyeliner. I have the Alpha Felt Eyeliner. It looks like that. And the Alpha Princess Liquid Eyeliner. Which eyeliner. Um, so two different types of packaging. Um, I bought this one because I thought the packaging was like super cute. Sucker for cute packaging. Even though I don't really need two more eyeliners. Of course they're both in black. So, so the felt tip one is kind of a chunky felt tip. Right there. The other one which has holographic um, printing on it. Can you see that? a kind of short, thick, stiff. Um, very hard to get a fine, precise line with that, I would say. I'm going to use that one on my eyeline. So I'm now going to take the felt tip, it's a slightly finer point of one, and I'm going to draw a dot there, and a dot this will be better. Draw from the dot. Kind of a triangle. And fill it in. Not the best eyeliner job. <laughs> the felt tip actually works really well. It's not the felt tip's fault. It's pretty much just my fault. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for, but it does the job. Um, so I don't have any um, pencils or anything to do my tight lines. I'm just going to grab something from my other collection. And I think I'm just going to leave underneath the eye, even though I put a little bit of purple under there. I'm just going to leave it because the top is so over the top. So also from Daiso, I got this mascara. <laughs> no idea what it's like. Uh, this is the High Curling Mascara, it's supposed to be volumizing as well. Um, fairly regular spoolie. Um, that seems quite... So it seemed to only be a mascara on the end of it, but we'll see.
gonna give that a minute to dry while I grab some eyelash glue. <sighs> Lashes are not really my forte, I'm not very good at them. <laughs> but I picked up these ones, um, these are apparently the fairy type. Sorry for all the glare. These are also from Dezo. Now, I'm not huge on lashes anyway, so I've started doing this thing where if the eyelashes are um, symmetrical, I just cut them in half and use half of them. They've been cut in half, these are kind of longish. So I am going to use uh, Revlon's Lash Adhesive in dark. I prefer to... I need to clean up the top of this. I prefer to paint this on my eyeline where I want it rather than on the lashes. It's just personal choice. I do it that way because I find it uh, sticks faster if I do it that way. Probably something to do with the warmth of the uh, skin on your eyes. I'm just going to clean up that little muscle mine. I'm going to give that a little bit of a chance to set. Okay, we put on an ear the cute if me if you relatively easy to use but as I said I tend to only do half lashes anyway because that's just my jam okay so as far as lips are concerned um, that was basically everything from um, Dezo um, they didn't have any lip products and they yeah they really had kind of like limited what I actually had um, so from my um, shop miss a-hole, um, I got a whole bunch of lipsticks. I was going to use one of the bright colours that I got from shop miss a, which you'll see if you've seen the whole, but I'm actually going to go with this one. Um, I was going to use like green or blue, but my eyes are very, very blue. So I'm actually going to go with this, I don't even know what colour this is in now. Um, most of these, this is a Santee matte liquid lipstick. Most of these have just got a number on them anyway. So, um, it's pink, by the way. So just quickly to finish off this um, whole first impression, I'm not actually going to try these on, um, I got the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion Foundation, no idea what it's like, if you've tried it and you like it, let me know, um, and also the NYX Roll On Shimmer in Onyx, it's like this, it's just got like a rollable thing. Colorative. 
and I got some nail polishes. Okay. Um, they were most of them uh, five Revlon and th uh, two Maybelline and one Essence. They were all on sale plus another forty percent off. So, um, so Revlon in Australia is fourteen ninety five, fifteen ninety five, depending on where you buy it. These are reduced down to ten forty five, and I paid six twenty seven, I think it was. So that's like way less than it would normally cost me. So this one is called um, Karaoke Crush. It's a really nice blue. Need two coats to be opaque. There's... So you can see the name. Because I don't know if I said that one right. Um, the next one is Untamed, which is a kind of a bronzy um, glitter in a dark base. Again, two coats to be opaque. Then we have Enchanting, which is a um, lilac purple. It's leaning towards pink, which makes it lilac. Uh, two coats to be opaque. My eye feels like it's sticking together. <laughs> Um, then we have Bohemian, which is a greeny, metallic, two coats to be opaque. And then they had Cherries in the Snow, which is a bit of a classic, really. Um, and I'd never seen it before on sale, so I was kind of surprised. Um, yeah, so that is Cherries in the Snow. It's a sort of blue-based, um, pinky red. This was opaque in one coat. That's only one coat on there. That's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, then from Maybelline Color Show 60 Second Line, this is Power Red, which is more of a, like, tomato-y orange red. Um, it's a bit jellyish, so that was two coats. I think probably you'd see a little bit of an outline still because it's it is a little jellyish. And then the Maybelline Color Show 60 Second in Blackout, which is just a black, but that's only one coat and it's pretty much opaque. A little bit of finessing, and you could do this in one coat, which is really really great for a drugstore black nail polish. And lastly from Essence we have Turn Up the Volume from the Metals collection which is a pinky metallic tiny bit brush strokey but a lot of them went away as it dried. So um, yeah so all of that stuff you saw today plus a few extras um, was my latest haul and uh, you know, this was this is what we got from it. So if you want to see like the two holes that I was talking about previous to this one, then subscribe down there. And if you want to see my other videos and you know that kind of thing, um, can leave me a thumbs up if you like get ready with me, first impressions, that kind of thing. Um, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.